Prior to taking on the role of the renowned opera singer Maria Callas in Pablo Lorraine's biopic Maria, which made its world debut at the Venice International Film Festival on Thursday, Angelina Jolie had never performed in front of an audience or on screen. During a press conference, the 49-year-old Oscar winner admitted to being quite anxious, as everyone there could attest to. I trained for nearly seven months since working with Pablo makes it impossible to accomplish anything even halfway. He makes the most amazing demands that you actually put in the effort, learn, and practice. Eric Vetro, a voice coach who has worked with Ariana Grande, Sabrina Carpenter, John Legend, Camila Cabello, Shawn Mendes, Rosalia, and Charlie Puth, was brought on by Angelina. I recall being quite anxious when I sang for the first time. I was nervous, but my sons were present, and they helped secure the door so that no one else could enter. Jolie, the mother to Maddox, 23, Pax, 20, and Knox, 16, said, I was scared. In his kindness, Pablo began me in a tiny room and ended me at La Scala, the opera house in Paris. He therefore gave me time to develop. The former wild kid of Hollywood, who grew up listening to The Clash, stated that her greatest fear would be to disappoint Maria's devoted fan base. I didn't want to do this woman any harm because I really came to care for her. Moreover, even though most of the movie takes place in the 1970s, Angelina seems to be recreating Collis, born Caligaropoulos, 1958 Eurovision broadcast performance at a Paris gala. The Greek belter, who was born in New York, had strong soprano pipes with three distinct registers and a range of slightly less than three octaves. Her vocal decline was attributed to a variety of factors, including early-onset menopause, dermatomyositis, and her drastic 80-pound weight loss in 1954. She gave her last concert in 1965. After giving up her American citizenship and residing in Paris for the last 11 years, Maria, who had an affair with Aristotle Onassis during his marriage to former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, died in 1977 at the age of 53 from a heart attack. In the film, Collis practices for a stage performance that never happens while being filmed by a camera crew headed by Cody Smith McPhee, star of Stranger Things. In the first scene of Maria, which debuted on Thursday, the operatic soprano worries her butler Ferruccio, Pier Francesco Favino, about disobeying her doctor's orders about her blood type and medicine while controlling her usage of methaqualone, a hypnotic sedative. And I'm going to call my autobiography The Day Ferruccio Saved My Life, Maria declared. What day was that, too? Ferruccio inquired. Every day. Each and every day. I despise you because of that. Collis jokes. I fall into a river and you always fish me out. Jolie's face was altered by two-time, Oscar-nominated prosthetics designer Aryan Tutin, although she still seems to have her own small nose instead of Maria's very prominent one. Netflix purchased the U.S. distribution rights for Maria on Wednesday. However, the film is still awaiting an announcement regarding its release date. Maria is vying for the Venice Golden Lion. The 48-year-old Chilean director's trilogy of legendary women, which includes Jackie, 2016, and Spencer, 2021, which led to Oscar nominations for both Natalie Portman and Kristen Stewart, concludes with Maria. Alessandro Bresanello, Pierre Francesco Favino, Alba Rohrwacher, Haluk Bilgener, and Valeria Galino complete the ensemble cast. The critically acclaimed producer's first acting appearance since Chloe Zhao's poorly received 2021 MCU film Eternals is this one. On September 8th, during the Toronto International Film Festival, Angelina will receive the TIFF Tribute Award from Impact Media. On the same day, her fifth feature film, Without Blood, starring Salma Hayek, will have its world debut.